In this video I'll explain how to change the axis labels of a box plot using the R programming language. In the video I will show you two examples and in the first example I will show you how to change the box plot labels of a box plot created in the basic installation of the R programming language. And in the second example I will show you how to change the labels of a ggplot2 box plot. Let's do this. So the basement for both examples of this tutorial will be the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 5 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that at the top right of RStudio, a new data frame object appears, which is called data. And we can have a look at this data frame by running line 6 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom the first six rows of our data frame. And as you can see, our data consists of three columns, x1, x2 and x3. And all of these columns contain random numeric values. Now let's assume that we want to draw these data in a box plot using the basic installation of the R programming language. Then we can apply the box plot function as you can see in line 8 of the code. And in this line of code I'm applying the box plot function to our data set. So if you run line 8 of the code you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new box plot has been created and each of these boxes shows the values stored in one of our variables. You can also see that the labels of our boxes are called exactly the same as the column names of our data set. So in this case the labels are x1, x2 and x3. So let's assume that we want to change these labels to different names. Then we can use the box plot function once again as you can see in lines 10 to 13 of the code. And the difference of these lines of code compared to the previous code that you have seen in line 8 is that this time we are also specifying the names argument and we set the names argument to be equal to a vector of character strings and each of these character strings corresponds to one of the names of our boxes. So in this case we want to call our boxes name 1, name b and name c. So if you run lines 10 to 13 of the code, you can see at the bottom right of our studio that the labels of our boxes have been changed to name A, name B and name C. So in this first example of this tutorial, I have explained how to change the labels of a base R box plot. However, it is also possible to change the labels of a ggplot2 box plot. And this is what I want to show you in the next example. And in order to create a ggplot2 box plot, it first makes a lot of sense to convert our white data set to the long format, as you can see in lines 15 to 19 of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm using the reshape2 package that we can load with lines 15 and 16. I have installed this package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 16 of the code. And after running this line of code, we can use the melt function provided by the reshape2 package. So if you run line 18 of the code, you can see that another data set appears at the top right, which is called data long. And we can have a look at the top six rows of these data by running line 19 of the code. And then you can see that the structure of our data set has been converted from wide format to long format because now our data contains only two variables and the first column is called variable and contains the name of our variables. So in the first six rows you can see six times the name x1 and then a second column called value which contains the corresponding values to each of our variables. Now if we want to draw a ggplot2 plot, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines 21 and 22 of the code. I have installed this package as well, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 22. And after running this line of code, we can create a ggplot2 box plot as you can see in lines 24 and 25. So in these lines of code, I'm using the ggplot function and the geom box plot function to create our box plot. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right that we have created another box plot. And this time this box plot has this typical ggplot2 design that you might already know from other applications. As you can see, the labels of our boxes are again called as the columns of our input data. So in this case, x1, x2 and x3. So if we want to change that in a ggplot2 box plot, we need to change the levels of our variable in our long data. 
We can do that as you can see in lines 27 to 30 of the code. So in line 27, I'm first duplicating our long data to keep an original version of our original data set. And then I'm changing the levels of the variable that contains the column names. And I'm changing these levels by applying the levels function. And I'm assigning to this the names, name A, name B, and name C. So if you run lines 27 to 30 of the code, another data set is appearing at the top right of RStudio, which is called data long labels. And if we use this data set to create our box plot once again, as you can see in lines 32 to 33 of the code, you can see that our box plot at the bottom right is updated because now the labels of our boxes are called name A, name B, and name C. So in this tutorial, I have explained how to change the labels of a base R box plot and of a ggplot2 box plot using the R programming language. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code that I have used in this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.